All right, we're doing some more route shaping. After the last video I did, I thought there has to be some way to do this on an older model. There has to be, and there is. And then I thought, what is the oldest possible model I could do this with? And you're looking at it, which is a Nuvi 2597 from 2013. Technically, you could use a 2557 or even a 2457. But this one, the 2597, is widely available. A lot of rental companies used this back in the day, car rental companies. Meaning you can find these things for a song. They're very easy to locate. Anyway, so, now to do this, it's annoying. <laughs> I'll just tell you straight up. It is annoying to do this, but it's possible. It's doable. That's the whole point. So I got a location picked out here. We'll just, this is that parking garage. I didn't know the address before I found out the address of it. So we're just going to do that and do my routes. It's going to give me two of them, possibly three. I'm going to wait for that. Okay, there's route number one. And now we have route two. Do we get a route three? Probably not. Maybe. Aw, nope. Route two. So we take that one. Turn left, then take the first left. And do not simulate. Now, yes, I am simulating. I should note that, so... It's that is from settings, navigation, down, and right there. So, just in case you want to follow along with what I'm doing here. All right, now tap the map and then tap this to go to a north up view. Okay, now I want to modify this route, I want to shape it. And you'll notice that I don't have any buttons for the, the uh, double flag, which means I got to use the zoom buttons. And being this is a 2597 with a matte screen, that's a resistive screen, meaning no pinch to zoom. We have to use the manual zoom controls here. So, okay. Firstly, I will just go close here and I'll say I want to go down here. Okay, and here's where the process starts. So I'll just say I want to go there. So, okay, I've selected it. Now I hit this and I hit go and add to active route. Now in the first one here, it will put it between the beginning and the end, which is fine, but I'm going to do another one and I'm going to show you what happens, but I'll hit done first. Turn left, then take the first right. Okay, no. And now we have to repeat this process again. Tap the map. North up view. Okay, so there is our first route shape right here. A stop, if you will. Okay, now I'll say I want to go over here. So I zoom that guy in. I'll go right there. Okay. Hit it. And don't save. You go. Add to active. Now, you'll notice that it put it at the top. Or right underneath the start. So what I have to do is take this one. And I press and hold. Drag it down. Now it is in the correct order. So I, I don't know why it does this, but it does. So I have start, leg one, yeah, leg one, leg two, and finish, and done. Turn left, then take the first right. Okay, no. <laughs> Tap map, north up view. Okay, so we see it. We've got our two points here. Now, there's another thing. That I'm going to show you as an immediate drawback. There really is no undo 
I couldn't, I'm not seeing any way to undo this. So, uh, you got to kind of be certain of where you're touching and adding things here. Anyway, so back, and then I go back to the where to screen and go to apps. Down, we go to the trip planner. And it's an unsaved trip. We tap that. Okay. We're good. And then the hamburger menu up here. And we are going. Now I do have it set. It's set to shorter distance because that was the second route selection. The first one was faster time and the second one was shorter distance. I'll get back to this in a second, but for now, save. I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save it as a test. Done. And we're done at this point, so back, 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 stop. And to retrieve, apps, down, trip planner, test, and we go from here. Now, an advantage of the 2597 over the Drive Smart 66 is if we go to settings, navigation, and calculation mode, oh, we got more. We got fast, because all you have in the 66 is faster time and off-road. That's it. That's all you have. But in this one, we have two more. Shorter distance and less fuel which does affect the route. So if I go back to apps, trip planner, load up that, that trip, so to speak, and I can change the route preference from here to any one of these three. Actually, four, sorry. So I can do faster time off-road, shorter distance, less fuel. Sometimes it will change the route the way you want, Sometimes it won't. But the point is, okay, we're, we're good to go here. So again, apps, trip planner. And this is kind of a problem. I, I will say this one last thing. When I hit go, well, I guess it's not really a problem. It's asking you where you want to start from. And this is an advantage of the Drive Smart 66 because one of the choices is nearest uh, nearest point first with and that's cool that really is nice but on this one you just got to pick the one where you have to pick it manually so I'll just say alley go and it's gonna show should show my little flag is it gonna show the flags oh wait it's probably cuz oh yeah cuz I was zoomed way out but there's my little flags right there and start Arriving at the destination, turn left, then take the first right. When you do this in simulation, every time it comes to a stop, you're going to have to hit yes. I'll show you. When you're driving, this doesn't happen. You'll just keep going. But when turn you're right at the stop sign, but when you're doing turn left, when you're doing the simulation thing, yeah, you do have every time you hit a, a flag, a stop, you will have to. Uh, Hit yes and just keep going. It will keep Turn going. Left at the stop sign. So I'll just show this and uh, that'll be that. Oh, I'll have a few more words after this real quick, but I want to show this first. Arriving at 6232 Page Street on the left. And it should prompt. Yep, there it is. So if you're simulating, you just have to keep hitting yes. Okay, final notes. These are real quick. Route planning goes, it, uh, has existed obviously before the 2597. The earliest model that I have, which does this, is the 1490. Problem with that is that even though that model does have route planning, I can't do the thing where I go where to start a route and then touch the map and then can choose points. I can't do that. So yes, the route planning does exist, but to shape it, like I just showed here, bare, in, excuse me, bare minimum required is a 2597 or a 2557 or a 2457 or a 2497. 
that's the oldest you can go. That doesn't mean that the older ones do not support routes, but as far as doing everything on the unit itself, it starts right here. And you, I just showed it to you. So if you want something where you can do your routes completely on the unit itself, without having to involve the computer, as in map source, base camp, whatever you use, this is where you start. And it should be the 20, if you want to go cheap, seek out a lightly used 2597 LMT, which is what this is. Still has the lifetime map support. Will you have to add in a micro SD memory card for all the map data, especially if you are in the United States? Yup. 32 gigabyte, you're going to have to buy one. Now you know what to do. You know where it starts when you want your route shaping. 2597.